Alright, welcome to another San Diego vlog. So if you're new here, my name is Taylor. I'm traveling around for the last like 15 months doing the Nomad thing. And San Diego is kind of my home base. I grew up here, my parents live here, and I have a bunch of my stuff here. And today, I'm doing a work from... Why is there hair literally everywhere? Today I'm headed to La Jolla because one of my favorite coffee shops to work from is called The Living Room Cafe. They have hookah they have a water view i just love it it's kind of like a little grungy it's been there for forever but i really like it i always go back there when i'm here love me a work hookah sesh you know got my work bag here got my laptop everything and i'm just gonna camp out at this coffee shop today but i also love going to la jolla because if you haven't been to san diego you definitely need to go to la jolla when you visit there's the famous like la jolla cove where you can see are they seals or otters <laughs> I think they're seals. It's just really pretty right on the water. I'll put in one of my favorite like lunch brunch spots here if you're visiting. I love going to that place. Usually every time I'm home my aunt and I go there. There's a bunch of good restaurants like dinner restaurants in La Jolla too. It's a very ritzy like high-end area. It feels a little bougie but I've been trying to do this for the last few days and it just hasn't panned out. Today we're making it happen so I'm excited. Not excited for the five million things on my to-do list that I'm gonna attempt to crank out while I'm there though. <laughs> By the way this is a really old free people sweat that I love. I wish they brought this back because I feel like it would be really popular, but it's just so cozy. And then clearly Newport, Oregon. I love the Oregon coast. One of my favorite places on earth. Okay, now I'm going. I'm gonna stop procrastinating. <laughs> that was a little bit of a fail still really nice beautiful outside felt good to like walk around glad i came because it's still it's just a really nice day and it was like nice to be by the water and everything but i didn't realize i guess last time i came later they don't start doing hookah until 2 30 so i was trying to like stay that long but i had to move you have to move your car every two hours here and i had already moved my car twice <laughs> and i parked pretty far away so I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna park again, walk all the way back, and then stay for a couple more hours, then like hit traffic, you know? So I think I wanna come again before I leave, but I'm gonna do it like later in the day. But still had a really good try, and I got a chicken salad that was good too. It's pretty packed in there, so I'm gonna drive back before traffic and just finish working at home. <laughs> We're headed to go shopping. Mostly returns and lunch, but probably some shopping. <laughs> I just introduced my mom to Tame and Paula. She likes them, I think. I do. You're <laughs> jamming out. Jamming. Uh, I did some shopping for my cousin. Got him a bunch of clothes, and a lot of it didn't fit from H&M, so we have to return those. And then, are we gonna get new stuff for him, or just wait until? I think we'll just wait. Just wait go until he can try it on. We're gonna go to Islands, which I haven't gone to in literally probably 15 years but I do remember they have the best buffalo wings yeah. this is way nicer than it used to be yeah. whoa hopefully still bottomless fries I don't know actually where is the islands I don't see it oh their milkshakes used to be good too remember yeah oh they're better being islands a haul once we get home but it was a success got a bunch of baby clothes for riley okay so baby clothes haul this is what we ended up getting at old navy they were having really good clearance and like sale stuff a lot of the stuff was actually even cheaper than like the clearance price that's showing on the tag if you need some baby clothes some cute stuff they had really good deals so first up got this little dress these are all for riley rach is my best friend's baby cute black and gold and she's pretty big she's what like eight months old now nine months but she's pretty big and i also wanted to get stuff that she would like grow into this is my favorite thing so these little cute little leggings with the little ruffle on it these were five bucks with this little flannel it has some like dark blue in it 
pretty much everything was on clearance. That's cute. Love this little like pear onesie long length thing. This was just a set of three basic long sleeves that she can wear with anything and that was a really good deal. Okay, these were $3, 340 something. Look how cute these little camel colored corduroys. This was like the deal of the century. So these were supposed to be a part of a six set that none of the other pieces were there. So it was marked as $13.47, but for a six set, she ended up giving it to me for 47 cents. <laughs> this pair of cute little pear leggings. This would be so cute with like a yellow bow and a black top or something. And then I love this little tie-dye long sleeve, $3.99. And this one's nice and so nice material too. And I thought that would look cute with the little ruffle bottoms. And then these shoes, so cute, little Sherpa. And then they have this kind of bottom. And these were on clearance for $5.99. So that's everything I got for Riley from Old Navy. And then at Bath and Body Works. Oh, I got a couple things at Sally Beauty too. I just got a wide tooth comb because I actually don't have one of these. And just for like brushing out curls, I thought that would be good. I needed more of my root spray. This is always the root spray I use. I've repurchased this so many times, like over the years. And then this is why I went into Bath and Body Works because I'd heard that this is like a dupe for Ariana Grande Cloud and can confirm it smells exactly like Ariana Grande Cloud. It's a body splash, so it's not gonna be probably as long lasting. Okay, these were from another day, but I'm gonna pop this in here while we're talking about baby clothes, but we went to TJ Maxx and Burlington, and Burlington actually had a really cute stuff, but I'm just gonna quickly show you a few more things for Riley. This is really soft material too, but cute little jumper, and then it comes with a little headband from TJ Maxx. This is probably my favorite. Leggings, fleece, flannel jacket, and then this cute little headband, and all of this, like this whole set, where is it? Whole set was on clearance for $6.99. Nike socks, and then this little TJ Maxx dress. This material is just really soft. Cute little two pack of rompers. Thought this with like a white, everything with a bow, but like a white bow would be really cute. And I love this one, look at this. It has the onesie thing, and then this little jumper over top this headband this one was burlington this is the only thing i got for myself but i am so in love with this look at this if you've seen Shit's creek you know oh my god ew david ew david ew david this was from burlington and the most amazing part are you ready for this two dollars two dollars and i'm obsessed with this So I just touched up my need to be washed hair. <laughs> Very desperately need to be washed. But I figured we could do some like date night slash Valentine's Day makeup since Valentine's Day is coming up. And I just kind of want to do like a fresh, bright Valentine's Day-y kind of look and get ready. That's what we're gonna do. But speaking of Valentine's Day, I did want to thank today's sponsor, which is fragrance.com. I love working with them because I buy all my perfumes on there. If you want a good deal on perfumes, they're authentic, they're legit. I've purchased from them for literally years now. I remember buying perfumes on there back in college. It's been a long time. And fragrance.com and fragrance.net are like the same thing, by the way, but they're doing a 30% off Valentine's Day coupon. So whether you want to stock up on your favorite fragrance, try a new one, or this would be like a really great gift idea for a partner, now's the time because you get 30% off using the code VDAY plus whatever sales and markdowns they already have on their site. So it's like an extra 30% off the already marked down prices. And you still have time to get your fragrances in time for Valentine's Day, or if you just wanna treat yourself, you're your own Valentine. Hello, that's me. But if you need some ideas, I wanted to call out a couple, I have a couple new ones and then a couple as I break it. To find new fragrances, I always look up notes that I like or I'll say fragrances that smell like and then a fragrance that I love. And this came up, I had never heard of this brand or perfume, it's Scandal by Night. Made in Spain, made in Barcelona, look at that. This is a gourmand perfume, which gourmand perfumes are like mouth-watering perfumes with addictive notes that tend to smell almost edible. Like they have this basically like addictive quality to them. And I, there's definitely certain perfumes I can think of that like have that to me. And this is really interesting because when I first smelled this, I was like, oh, 
I don't know if this is for me. It smells totally different in the bottle than when it's on your body and also I find that this smells the best like as it's on my body throughout the day and almost like warms up to my own chemicals or whatever. This is one that I'll definitely be mixing. I think this with like something, I mean, it's pretty sweet, but it does have this just like deepness to it and like sensual kind of quality. So I think mixing it with something just like a little sweet or like mixing it with Ariana Grande Cloud or something like this would be next level. This is super long lasting too. I've worn this, like put it on in the morning and then worked out, gone to the gym, done the whole day thing. And then it's still on at night. You go sniff it, don't judge it by the smell in the bottle. You have to like spray it on and then wear it and see how it smells with your body interesting and i'm digging it this i feel like is the most underrated i really need to make a tiktok on this or something because i feel like it's the most underrated perfume that a lot of people would love especially if you love ariana grande cloud you need to try this this is also one that every time i have it on people comment on i just was out to dinner with my friend and she was like i've been sniffing you the entire night what are you wearing and then she ordered this it's the all her main amber oud but, but this is the rouge version there's a lot of different versions this is super long lasting and again this smells like ariana grande cloud but like on crack and also a little bit more sophisticated and long lasting. This is more of like a day to day kind of one. This is like nighttime, ooh. You can get this really marked down on fragrance.com. All these I'm talking about, you can. This is now Holy Grail status for me. This is different. This is more coconutty, alien goddess. I also love the original alien. Incredible scent if you like a hint of coconut. Not too much, but definitely has a hint of coconut in there. And then I actually got my mom a Valentine's Day present. So I just looked up notes of, I wanna say it was Tresor, cause that's one of her favorite perfumes but I looked up the notes and tried to find something similar so I picked her up Valentino Voce Viva and she really likes one of the other Valentino fragrances so I wanted to see if she'll like this one too I hope she does it does smell like her it smells the fist oh shit I gotta get Coldplay tickets <laughs> my alarm just went off for Coldplay I will be back <laughs> urgent matters anticipation oh yeah Best day ever, got Coldplay tickets, we're going, it's happening, my adrenaline is pumping. But anyways, perfume, the other thing that gets my heart really pumping. And they have cologne on there, it's a good gift idea. And again, you can get an extra 30% off your order with the code VDAY. Right now I wanna mix these, I'm too excited. So I'm gonna do two spritzes of this, bad boy, my fave. And then one spritz of this, and this stuff is pretty strong. I think this is gonna be such a winning combo, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go in with foundation. I'm gonna use the Essence Keep Me Covered in 70 Warm Shell because my tanner is kind of starting to fade off right now. So I think this shade will work. This, I actually try in a video that, I think this vlog will be at first, but I have a drugstore makeup video coming. So, uh oh, this might be too light today, but this is full coverage. Comment down below. I'm curious what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. Do you hang out at home? Do you go out to dinner? Are you having a, a gal's hangout? Are you just chilling? I will still be in San Diego on Valentine's Day. I saw Jessica Braun post this on her Instagram story and now I'm curious, but if you're a parent, do you get Valentine's Day gifts or like just something small for your kids? Because that is something that my mom used to do. And I that's like a, a memory for me as a child is it was never anything like, you know, crazy or extravagant, even just like little candy. And she used to get like a cute, like pink Target outfit or something like that, or just, you know, something small, but I remember I always really liked that and that is something that I wanna do for my kids, even if it's not something material, just like, you know, a cute card or going to do something. Yeah, it is a Hallmark holiday, but I don't know. I still, I like Valentine's Day. Why not celebrate love, you know? No matter who it's with, what you're doing, if it's just for yourself, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, this does oxidize, now I'm remembering. Yeah, look at the difference when it first goes on. This is the Huda Beauty Concealer. I don't hate it, but I'm not like wowed by it so far. This is probably like the fifth time I've worn it. I think like if you're going for a high-end concealer, get the Milk Makeup. This one, incredible. Since the Essence Foundation is a little bit more on the matte side, I'm gonna use the Revolution Cream Bronzer because this one is dewier than my- Actually, I'm gonna use a powder bronzer. Just... Uh, I'm gonna do both. I, ha I like can't live without this Revolution one now. So good. And the NARS that I talked about in my January Raisin Rejects. This is the light shade, by the way. It is so nice filming here at my parents' house because this bathroom just has the best lighting. Like I don't have any artificial lights right now. These new lights that they installed. Oh, I just 
now realized I didn't even have all of them on. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that Essence Foundation definitely oxidizes. I think more than a shade, probably like two shades. It's looking a little makeup-y on my face. You guys, I'm so excited about Coldplay. So I've been wanting to go to a Coldplay concert for years. Coldplay is definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. And this is gonna be um, emotional because <laughs> I went to a Candlelight concert that was Coldplay. So they were just like playing Coldplay songs and it was like a you know violin quartet kind of thing. But I was like crying the whole time. It was waterworks the entire time because there's something about Coldplay songs to me. I don't know, they just, they really get me. And they just have so many amazing songs. I just think I'm gonna be bawling the entire concert, literally. Bring in the Kleenex. I haven't heard a single bad thing about a Coldplay concert. Like people rave about their concerts. So I played piano for years and Coldplay Clocks was like, me and my best friend in high school did a, that was like our song. She played the drums and I played piano. I'm gonna try this L'Oreal bronzer. This is in the shade medium. It might be too dark, but it looks like a nice tone. Oh yeah, pretty tone. Not orangey at all. Looks like it's totally matte. For all over my face, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Glow. I so far have been liking, I mean, a lot of these you guys are gonna see me trying in that video. I've been liking this. It does give this like kind of soft glow. Not too glowy though. It's interesting. It kind of flattens and glows at the same time, which is hard to find in a powder. And like, it's not too glowy to where I can't put it around my pores. Essence Blush in Rosy Rosewood. This is one of their new ones. I think I might try to take some photos today, like makeup photos, because I've been slacking on the old gram lately. And I also wanna get some, you know, content ahead of time to post. I'm actually layering a little bit of the lighter shade Pink Flush on top. Oh yeah, that's doing it for me. Has everything been drugstore so far? I think, it, oh, besides the concealer, yeah, basically. I'm gonna use this Hard Candy Setting Spray because I do feel like I need setting spray to kind of melt everything together right now. Try not to get my camera lens. I like the scent of this. It smells like fresh and herbal, a little minty or something. In honor of Valentine's Day, I think I wanna do a little bit of like a pinkish eye look. I haven't done that in a hot minute. And I have this J-Cat palette here that this used to be one I used all the time in red carpet premiere and there's some good pinks in here. So I think I'm gonna go in with this guy. There's not like a middle pink tone in here. So I'm actually gonna take just like a matte blush and put it in my crease. You can take any matte blush you have. That's like more of a copper. Okay, I'm gonna layer a pink over that because that's kind of coppery. I use that shade. I think I'm gonna get pink chrome nails for Valentine's Day. I keep seeing them and I think it looks so cool. And I actually ordered some chrome off of Amazon, only the set I did, I got like, I think there's 16 or something. But the nail place I really like here, they don't, they only have like two chrome powders, so I just ordered my own to bring. I love these purple ones though. Gonna take this deeper kind of fuchsia-y color. I have my mic in the sink right now so you can hear me and I'm just waiting for myself to accidentally turn on the water and forget the mic's in the sink. <laughs> Would happen. This is like my favorite shade in the palette. It's this light pink, like metallic one. You do have to kind of build this shade up, but once you do, it's really pretty. I'm gonna wet that pink shade and go in because I want it like really metallic. Not turning on the sink. I really need to wash my makeup brushes. Okay, one of my favorite things right now is this eyeliner by M Cosmetics. Okay, it's actually a silver. It's called Silver Lining. This on the waterline is so cool looking. It just like makes your eyes really pop. It gives like this, I don't know if it's gonna show cause it's, you know, certain light where it hits it at, but it gives this like sparkle to your eyes and is like very eye catching without being super obvious. Like I honestly think just this with like mascara would look really pretty. I'm gonna use Bare Minerals Joy for a highlighter. I talked about this in my last Raisin Rejects video. It's so pretty, especially for like pinky looks like this. Sits over texture nicely too. Okay, so I went in, put on lashes. These are like the perfect Valentine's Day or just date night lashes. These are from Amazon. I cut them though. I use the shorter half basically. And they're like faux mink lashes and they just have that really nice like fluttery effect. I'm gonna try this pink liner. I haven't used this yet. It's the About Face in Momentary Bliss. I think it's pretty pink. It looks really pink, but hey, today's a day. It's almost like a coral color. Nice and pigmented. To go with the eyes though, I think the tone of this is a little off, so I wanna keep it more cool toned or like bring the cool tones back. So I'm gonna take Milani 
Soft Rose 08 gloss. This is pigmented and I love this gloss. Oh yeah. It has the best like minty scent too. I need a little something on my forehead. I'm gonna use this powder foundation by Juvia's Place, but it's in the shade Havana, so I've been using it as like a bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna go show you the Valentine's Day look in natural lighting so you can really see. This is truly like the best day ever, okay? Coldplay, and now my mom called me and she's like, want me to bring a burrito home? Do you think I'm gonna say no to that? So now we've got Coldplay, burritos, filming, makeup, love life, you know, life's great. Excuse me, you pretty, pretty boy. Are you photogenic? Oh my goodness, look at those eyes. And that cute butt, let me see that cute butt. Oh, look back at it. Midway update on this book, not midway, I'm only, I think I'm 100 pages in. 120 pages in so far, but I want to give you an update. It's rare that I enjoy reading a book when things don't happen quickly. Like I have to get something crazy has to happen or I have to get into it pretty soon on. This is like a rare book where right now nothing crazy is happening yet, but the way that it's written is so just like descriptive and good. I'm into the story. I'm excited to keep going. We have a Parker Hall. My mom went to, where'd you go, TJ Maxx? Home Goods. Home Goods. Oh, you got a lot. This is more exciting than like any Hopefully other kind of home party. It'll last more than three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I hope they're Oh, this is cute. Hope they're really cute. Okay. Yeah, they're very cute. This looks. <laughs> oh, this one feels tough. We got this one. And then, Mom, here I have an early Valentine's Day present for you. Oh, wow. I think you'll. I'm hoping you like it. I put in the notes of perfumes that you like. Oh, nice. So, see if you like it. I like the packaging. And you like Valentino. Yeah. That's the that other one you like. This one mm. smells, isn't that good? Yeah. It smelled like you. It smells more like sophisticated. Ooh, I love this. Mm. You think on the nice smell? Way. Yeah, it's nice. Mm, that smells like you, I think. Mm, I love that's that. Not, well, I think that's, that's, that's interesting. Isn't that good? It's not sweet. It's, uh, mm, I love that. It's yeah. good. Put it out somewhere. It's cool looking. Thank you. I really uh -huh. should hose the desk. Okay, we're gonna eat burritos. So this dressing, so good. Where is this from, Mom? It's, it's a... Yeah, is this what it is? If you can find this, I think you can order it online. You are like yeah, ready to go so on the burritos. This, it's like fresh. An online thing. Here's the thing. I'll link it down below. Did you get chicken? Yeah. I, got chicken I just and got bean and cheese. Yeah, Mine feels like bean and cheese. Okay, so I'm having a solo night, which actually <laughs> feels so nice. Not that uh, I don't enjoy my parents being around my parents, but sometimes you just need alone time, you know? cooking food and hanging out, gonna get some work done tonight. I did a little workout, just like a stair workout. I don't know, I like kind of just <laughs> was doing things on my own, but it felt like a good leg workout and you know, low impact and everything. So did that, put on my new American Eagle sweatshirt. I've been loving this. It's so cute. It's like cropped a little bit and it's cozy. And I love the, the trim on here. Desperately need to wash my hair, doing the slick back bun thing. But I uh, brought up some rows because I'm gonna do, what I used to always do with my air fryer is make the like air fryer pizzas. You remember from <laughs> Seattle vlogs? I used to always do that on tor a tortilla and I like using, my favorite is the Mission low carb tortillas. And then I just like load it up with a bunch of stuff and then you have like a low carb kind of pizza thing. And it's just like a thin crust. I think they're super good. They have these tortillas. I've only got the Rouse marinara, but that will do. These are the tortillas we have. If you're doing this, just get the Carb Balance by Mission. Those are the best. kind of having like a date with myself right now, which I am all here for. I got these beautiful roses. These are my mom's, her friend got them for her. I have this pizza, this is the second one. I just scarfed down the other one. So I was so hungry, but this is the one with chicken on it. And the sriracha really makes it, you gotta add sriracha. But here's to having more dates with yourself. Cheers. I have a lot of dates with myself, I must say. <laughs> By the way, if you don't have food scissors, what are you doing, man? They're so life-changing. Most important part, MVP here. So I finished this book. I'll pop it in right here. 
you are, what's it called? You're alone? You're not alone? No. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Some of the stuff I thought was useful, but other things I was like, I mean, it, it was just too far, too far gone for me, like too far out there with certain things. So next I'm gonna start, I think it's called Calling Bullshit. It's about data, I think and like politics a little bit. I think this was about, I never really do like full deep dive into what books are ahead of time. I just like to start and see if I'm into them. say this bath looks like I just ate a lot of asparagus. Smell good though. Okay, I just had such a nice bath. Relax, just watched some YouTube. Didn't end up reading or anything. I just watched YouTube and then took a shower, washed my hair, and I tried this new hair mask. I'll put it here. This was the first time I'm trying it. It's like a rosemary mint. It smelled really good and it got good reviews, so that's why I picked it up. It initially didn't make my hair like super soft but maybe once my hair is dry it will feel but also i put in my favorite i restocked this this was in my yearly favorites if you haven't tried this yet honestly one of the best hair products ever made makes your hair so soft so smooth i really notice the difference when i use this stuff so this was a repurchase and i got the travel mini size this time so i can bring it with me and then i also tried this i used this one time before and i didn't notice a whole lot yet but i put this on the ends this time i just want to try some new hair products see if anything else out there is good but now it is editing time i've got the cute boy there he is still very much in my gold cup obsession i just can't get enough is that dog here <laughs> so crazy how dogs hear things before you do like he knows when they're coming literally down the street I'm too lazy to get my wide angle lens right now and there's no tripod so you're crooked but we got sushi delivery this looks beautiful salmon skin hand rolls if you've never had them are the best thing that i discovered Ooh, these ones look good oh gosh oh dear that's a ton of sushi oh dear oh dear we either got sushi Okay, I am a sight to be seen right now. Wow, really need to wash my hair. I tried on a powder foundation this morning and it is not looking good. It was the Juvia's Place powder foundation. And then I went on a walk, so I'm just, I'm all over the place. And I have a shirt with a tag on it. This is from Walmart and I actually really like it. Super cute. And I think I'm gonna get it in other colors. It's like a nice thick material too. I'm gonna shower, wash my hair. I need to finish editing this vlog, end it off. So we're wrapping it up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna check out fragrance.com, I'll have the link down below and the Valentine's Day sales going on right now where you can get an extra 30% off your order with the code VDAY. That's linked down below, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.